Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials. I'm going to simplify each expression. So if I was given this expression, 5p squared minus 3 plus parentheses 2p squared minus 3p to the third. Okay? Well, first thing I look, the separated by parentheses. Does this plus sign change anything? And no, it doesn't. It doesn't change, <clears throat> we're adding both of these together to these, right? We're trying to combine them all together. Inside each parentheses, there's no simplification. So now I'm going to kind of move on without the parentheses, and I'm going to rearrange, rearrange this from uh, our highest degree uh, terms to our lowest degree terms. So our highest degree terms is a 3p to the third, so I'm going to put a negative 3p to the third first. Then I have, I'm going to put a, we're adding a 5 p squared, then we're adding a 2p squared, that one, and don't forget, then minus 3, okay? Now, make sure we have all terms. Always double check that. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms there. Now, the way I uh, combined these, all right, or rearranged it, okay, I have my like terms now are p squared. I can combine them together. There's no p to the third, so I have negative 3p to the third here, plus 5p squared plus 2p squared is 7p squared. And we have a minus 3, and there we have it. We have our expression simplified. Can't be simplified anymore. So we're given a, uh, found a negative 3p to the third plus 7p squared minus 3. So let's recap. We're given 5p squared minus 3 in parentheses plus 2p squared minus 3p to the third, all that in parentheses. Since there's nothing I can do with this parentheses, uh, there's no simplification, I uh, almost like I eliminated them. And then I can rearrange them, giving uh, my negative 3p to the third first. And then I had a 5p squared, and then a 2p squared here, and then my minus 3. If you want to think about it, if it makes it easier to bring that out here, you can change that to be a plus and negative. That's fine. You can do that. Uh, and then see that, oh, it's a negative 3p to the third out front. Okay? And you do the same thing with the plus and negative 3, but I just left it as minus 3. Okay? So... From there, the only things I can combine is 5p squared plus 2p squared, which gives me 7p squared. So now we have our final answer of negative 3p to the third plus 7p squared minus 